Hey YouTube, this is an unusual video for uh, for me to put up. I met some folks at a party uh, to do with the network that I call LA Satanic, and I'm introducing this video. What follows is an introduction for them to the video excerpts I'm showing them. I'm not sure it's going to make a whole lot of sense to people who, uh, you know, aren't in on this particular scene it's very local but it touches on uh, some themes that I think would be of interest to any youtuber and it hits me that I must have subscribers who are already connected to this scene okay so I mean it was very special meeting uh, these couples that I met uh, this weekend and uh, you know they know about the Lucifer series anyways what follows are clips from a video that can only be seen in full on a Facebook page uh, that uh, nobody can get to <laughs> it's not the Facebook page you can connect to from my YouTube page it's a different page and it's only for full members of group to go to and it's only like three or four people who are, who are who are there Monday night for what's called a rap w r a p a sit down an online sit down and there was discussion on the page you know a lot of discussion got very involved and it lasted all night and the people you know who are involved in that do not want to be known by anybody but other members of uh the circle and I'm not a full member of l a satanic i'm called oh it's called with the talent and uh, this uh, video had in mind some folks I met at the party, like I said, who are also either with the talent or they are the talent. Okay, but that's not full members. And yes, Salvador, this is my real watch. Mona insists on putting me in a Rolex for those parties. Okay, so don't feel bad. <laughs> Who's pretending? <laughs> Uh, no to this person <laughs> I'm not gonna I, I, I don't curse people I certainly don't curse trolls Wiccans don't curse people okay and the story that you have heard was only something I knew about this weekend whatever you've heard the person that we'll call Garcia yeah I had some energy with him oh, oh, like a year ago okay with a friend I'll call Toby who was with Mona, okay, but Mona didn't come into the picture till much later. And uh, I don't even think Toby had ever met her. And uh, Garcia went off on me, and we had an intense moment. And it was uh, it was a lot of extreme energy going on. And something very spontaneous happened with me that passed through me that was very unusual. And Toby felt it, and was there, and he never told me anything about that what happened to Garcia later on never I, I only heard about it this weekend okay and that was 
All of that was to deflect Garcia's energy at me. It was just to deflect. And I, it wasn't even anything conscious I was doing. I really, at one that, that point, I wasn't taking Garcia seriously. And then this thing happened. And it was just like shields up, you know. And something passed through me. And I had no idea that Mona heard the story from Toby, more of the story than I knew about, because Garcia left. I never saw him again. Okay. And I didn't know what happened to him after that. Okay. But it's news to me, all of this. I'm still trying to fit, try to think it through. Uh, but it was purely deflecting. Whatever happened to Garcia was Garcia's energy back on him. And that's all any Wiccan does. I know I get called Lucifer and Wiccan, Wiccan by the group. Okay, they enjoy calling me that. And they tease me that I'm not really a Wiccan. You know, I'm, you know, I'm not. It's true, I'm, a, I'm an occult person. And Wicca isn't necessarily a very occult thing. Okay. Um, but it's... And I'm not into the corn god thing. Okay, so yeah, there's differences. But Wicca is Wicca is Wicca. And it is the same morality, and it's the same sense of uh, the same symbols. Okay, except I, the serpent is much more universal and appealing to me than the horned god. Okay, but I mean that all seems superfluous. I only knew about the Garcia thing, the whole story, this weekend, and nothing that passed between me and him was anything but me deflecting him. It, counter cursing is you, you guys' term. I don't use that term. And sometimes I get into trouble in these conversations because in an effort to communicate, I will use your terms. Okay. And as far as anything rising to that degree of seriousness with this, this character, <laughs> this is just a YouTube thing. With some guy, I mean, you know, some little ego guy. I mean, come on, give me a break. As a guy, I mean, it doesn't relate at all to anything like with Garcia. Give me a break. I mean, I don't know what you've heard. And, um, and no, uh, to your other question, uh, Gurdjieffians uh, don't really channel the mental energy that's really in Beelzebub. They, uh, they experience it for its own sake as a consciousness thing, and some of them take to heart the old man's uh, injunction to have a wish and to try to make the wish come true. But I don't know how well they do with that. They, they just don't think there's anything hidden in the book that you can... Uh, get with and and direct okay there's no te lama okay it's like that spontaneous energy happening and then how to make that spontaneous energy more conscious and directed it's you know it, they're all trying to be good little boys and girls and they never get to the fun part um two years then uh two years so go almost to the day i guess May or June, 2009. Uh, I said a year ago, I guess it was two years. If she says it was two years, she, I mean, okay, two years. But time just flies for me. I don't, uh, I don't know. I didn't know Toby was connected with the group. I didn't know Garcia was connected <clears throat> with the group. Didn't like Garcia very much. Didn't know him that well. Only saw him a couple of times. Uh, that night I thought he was loaded. I mean, he was loaded, and I thought he was kidding at first. And I thought, he's serious. And like I say, what happened almost was just some sort of an involuntary th response from something deep in me. So um, I don't take much credit for it one way or another. Um, it was his own bad energy on him, okay? It wasn't about me. I don't feel any karma in it at all. I just happened to be there.
In the meantime, I've emailed a uh, nice lady and her friends and recommended a YouTube video called uh, Black Magic by Issy Jespel, where she talks about very sensibly about uh, the issue of cursing. And she's just saying what anybody rational would say about it, okay? And anyone who has a problem with the very general way she's talking about this, she's just answering a question from somebody, you know, a viewer. Uh, anyone who would have any serious uh, issue with uh, that video, you know, I, I just don't think we have anything to discuss. Okay. I just don't see how anybody could really disagree with what she's, what she's saying there. Okay. So, um, I leave everybody to that. And relax, you know, about all this, people. Please, the Garcia thing, all right? I mean... Uh, I've had people concerned about this since the May Day weekend party when it came up. You'd think I'd been sent to the <laughs> to the vice principal's office at my high school or something. <laughs> For one thing, the group is not recruiting me. You know, if anything, I'm recruiting the group and they don't know it yet. So, uh, you know, I've I've got outreach here. I've got outreach there and everywhere. All kinds of different corners and persuasions and you do have to draw the line with satanists about cursing it's a nasty habit like smoking very bad for you um and i've told that to nice lady many times and she still loves me so in any ways oh and the, garcia he was on his way out apparently okay so I don't even know if this was really about Garcia. My radar tells me this is about something else. All right. But not being a full member, I may never know what it's really about. So, anyways, even if they were really ticked off about the whole Garcia thing, L.A. Satanic does not have hitmen. Who needs hitmen when you got lawyers? <laughs> That's what they've got. They got lawyers. 